Fire away. Coach, uh, just a quick thoughts from you on your uh, team season opening victory, and uh, then we'll take questions from the uh, media. Well, I thought our guys played hard. Uh, they were, you know, I think emotionally into the game. I certainly thought we got outplayed. Uh, they had outcoached in the first half, and, and we struggled defensively the whole game. But uh, it's good to have a win and teach off of a win as opposed to a loss. And in particular, there's a lot of things that, that when you have a game with special teams are live, uh, you're cutting guys. And, and so we, we have a lot of teaching and learning to do in the next two to three days. But I think our guys are conscien conscientious enough to do that. We got a really good football team coming in, so we got to get better in a hurry. And and uh, I thought that you know, appreciate the crowd that was there. The Zona Zoo was fantastic again. And I think we'll have a great crowd next Saturday night. Question for Coach: What uh, pleased you the most tonight? Would you say? Well, uh, when we needed to run the ball in the second half because we weren't stopping them at all on any series, I don't think we had any three and outs. Uh, we control. We, we were able to grab control of the game. Uh, with our running game and all the backs, you know, the guys are solid up front, you know, the, all the backs ran well, the quarterbacks ran well. And so that was, you know, to take control of the game, running the football in the second half is what we needed to do. And, and uh, that's what the guys were able to do. With all the young guys you debuted, especially on defense, how did you feel like they handled it? I think, yeah, I got to watch the film to see how they graded out. I know there was a lot of nerves and they were excited and that's to be expected. Um, but again, there were some, you know, we didn't play the deep ball well at all. And I knew that was a concern coming in. Uh, we lost contain way too many times. I know I was, I was always yelling at the defensive ends to keep contain. And so I've got to watch the film to see exactly what the, the problems were. But, you know, we never got them off the field. And you got to give them credit. I mean, they played hard. They got some good skill guys. But, you know, we certainly can play a lot better. And I think our guys know that. But we'll watch the film and go from there. Did you have a plan with Dawkins? And Khalil, or did you just play it by ear? Yeah, Dawkins was a starter. No, he said time. Yeah, and, and Dawkins was a starter, and Khalil was the backup. And uh, we were going to play Dawkins until we felt secure, unless he was playing poorly, and he really wasn't. I mean, he, missed, he missed a few things, and he was a little excited too. But, you know, he gives you a dimension in a run game, which is uh, – they all do, all the quarterbacks do. Khalil um, got a little banged up because he's – he likes to try to run over people, and that's not a good idea when you're a quarterback. But nonetheless, I think, you know, Brandon, he was one of those guys that kind of took charge in the second half of some of the quarterback runs. I think we had three touchdowns called back, uh, which was really disappointing. We got to get that fixed. But uh, And I think two of them were long runs out of Brandon. But, uh, we'll, we'll again, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep the same rotation right now and go from there. Between Sean and Tyrell, you had 191 kick return yards. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that was huge. That was obviously, Sean's – and I think if we'd have blocked a little better on kick return, TJ would have, break a, would have broke a couple more because all he needs is a crease. He's a very explosive guy, one of the fastest guys in our league. So, I didn't think – I think we did okay on a couple of the kick returns, but uh, at other times they did a really good job of pinning this in, on, uh, on a short on, – to the side boundary, and I don't think we were able to wedge our blocks very well. But we got good returners. We knew that going in. We just got to do a better job holding them up at times. Did you go into the game expecting to put Rhett in at some point, or was it just because Khalil got Yeah, he was the third guy. If we went to the third guy, he was going to be the third guy. But him and Donovan are like 3A and 3B. So I wouldn't hesitate to put Donovan in the game either. They're, they're freshmen. But uh, – yeah, we'll we'll see what Khalil's like. I don't think he's serious, but uh, we'll see what he's like. But Brandon's, you know, Brandon's the starter. We'll see, and you know, I think he'll keep getting better. Coach, your thoughts on the passing game from tonight? Uh, ours? Yes, sir. Was there one? <laughs> uh, we didn't have to throw it in the second half. You know, in the first half when we had to, I think we were okay. We missed a few things, and frankly, we didn't call as many because we didn't we didn't think we had to. Plus. You know, they were, we weren't getting any three and outs, so we were trying to give our defense a little bit of rest and trying to control the, the game by running the football, which we were able to do in the second half a little bit. But, uh, you know, we worked really hard at it. We, we took some things that were there, but we, we'll be able to throw the football. We'll be okay. Coach, this is the most speed you've had since you've been here. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I think we, we definitely have a couple guys that are game breakers, and we have a couple guys that – that uh, we're deeper at running back if we stay healthy than we've been um, uh, probably since I've been there. So that's a good thing. And our quarterbacks can all run. And every quarterback we got is is 
pretty athletic and can run, and that gives you. So we're playing with 11. That's the good thing. I told our guys we're going to play with 11, including the quarterback run game. Coach, when you see Khalil go down like he did or come off to the side mm -hmm. with a parent injury, do you have any concern about about the run game from that point forward? Especially run game. I have a concern anytime any player goes down. But that's, I mean, I would think you know, it's just like a parent watching their son go down. They're like, you know, that's. So you already worry about that. But if you're trying to say I'm not going to run a quarterback because I'm afraid of getting hurt, nope. Yeah, I mean, I think a quarterback's not, not a good idea to try to run over people. That's probably a good idea. Uh, but we will play with 11. On that run game, 500 yards twice in a row, I know it goes back to last season, has that ever happened to you before? Oh, I don't know. Um, it, it hadn't happened here? No. Well, that's good. <laughs> Set a record. No, I don't, I don't know. We, you know, I didn't think we blocked well in the first half. Again, I don't think we did anything well in the first half. But our guys didn't panic, and then our – you know, I think we had two, like I said, two long runs. Two of like Brandon's long runs were taken back. And they could have been good calls. I don't know. I'll have to watch the film. But, Rich, yeah. how, how was it seeing Rhett get in and doing what he did? He scored the touchdown. If you can separate. Well, yeah, I told Nate. He, I said, well, we we're going to run a sneak because he's on a one. But Nate kind of deserved the touchdown probably because he kind of took it down there. Um, but Nate, that, I mean, those guys are all unselfish. But, I was, you know, I don't. When Rhett goes in there, I'm looking at not as my – there's the quarter. I mean, what plays are we calling with him as a quarterback as opposed to, hey, that's my son. You know, now we're trying to score. And, you know, hey, when he was in there, he was – we were milking the clock too a little bit and running it down some. So – and we weren't doing any – you know, we were just running the ball. We weren't throwing it. We were shortening the game a little bit. Tony Ellison uh, had a – his first career college touchdown by the team in receiving tonight. Can you talk about his development in the offseason? Yeah, Tony has been a guy I've been really waiting for a couple of years because we've seen all of our guys have seen it in practice. He's an explosive, quick, trench guy that's uh, it's really good in the open field. And, you know, I know he got one of them, but there's still more to come. He and, you know, Sean Brown uh, have given us two experienced guys in the slot, and then along with TJ, Tyrell Johnson, we got three pretty shifty guys that, that uh, are really valuable. We missed them a couple of times a day, I think, and – in, in some of the pass, passing games for big big plays. But, you know, I trust Tony for a lot of stuff. Coach, how do you think Rudd and the LBs played overall today? You know, it's hard for me to really judge. I don't think anybody defensively played really well. I think Demetrius got a couple picks. It was big plays. You know, uh, Brandon almost had a pick uh, on great effort. But I don't – it's hard for me to say that anybody played well defensively when you give up 562 yards and don't get any three and outs. But, again, I could be – I got to watch the film and say, well, maybe it was just a great play by them, or maybe we just there's one guy here and there. But it's it's hard to say that we had anybody play really well. Last question for Coach: How big of a factor is it to have uh, your freshman place kicker kick nine kick uh, touchbacks? Out of yeah, he's got a great. And I've seen him kick them deeper than that. Um, you know, he and even the ones he didn't kick out, he angled really well. So if it would have been in, it would have been pinned inside the number. So uh, I should have let him kick a couple more extra points. Um, and and Josh would let him. Josh's not selfish, but uh, but Lucas did a great job uh, kicking off, and he is a weapon. You know, that is one one less thing to worry about if he can kick them all in the end zone. That's for sure. Okay, thank you, Coach. We'll get you a couple of student athletes in here in a second. Okay, sorry, sorry, you're so late.